middle of the day, she was praying for him. Can I tell you something about my daddy? My daddy, he was a disciplinarian, but my mom was as well. Daddy was a little quieter. There was not a time that my daddy disciplined me that he did not give me the Word of God. Not a time. I cannot remember a time that he would discipline me and not tell me what the Bible said about what I'd done. Every time. You say, what was he doing? He was building an ark. What was he doing? He was building an ark for us. Every time he'd talk to us, I'd find the little notes on my pillow at night and it'd have the scripture. He was concerned in a way for us to have the little scripture. I've saved them. I still have them. Little scriptures that my daddy wrote out for us. What was he doing? He was building an ark. And that's what God's calling you to do. Mothers, fathers, grandmothers, grandfathers, single people, married, married people. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Single people, married people, whoever you are, God is calling you to build an ark today. Would you bow your heads just right where you are, and I'll have you stand in a moment, but not yet. If you say, Beth, I'm away from the Lord. I know we've already given an altar call, so I'm not going to take a lot of time right here. But I believe that we cannot end this service without giving you the opportunity to know Jesus. You say, Beth, I want to give you the question that my grandmother gave us. If you were to die today, Beth, where would you spend eternity, in heaven or in hell? I want to ask you the question that she posed to us over and over. What about your heart? Is it right with God? She would say to us, I don't want to know how much you've been preaching, Beth, how many conferences you've been going to, but is everything good between you and the Lord? It doesn't matter how much you've been singing, how much you've been going to church. What about you and the Lord? Is your heart right with God? Are you ready to meet Jesus? When I ask the question today, I want to pose it to you now. If you say, no, Beth, I'm not ready. No, Beth, things aren't right with me. Between me and the Lord, I love Him, but really today, I don't love Him like I should because I've not been living for Him. The Bible says that if you're a friend of the world, you're an enemy to God. I want to ask you point blank, blunt, is it you today? If that's you and you say, Beth, I want to be saved. I want to rededicate my heart to Jesus. I can't leave this place without making sure that everything's right between me and the Lord. If that's you, would you slip your hand up in this place? Anybody here right now? Anybody here right now that you would say, pray for me on this Sunday morning? Pray for me. On a Sunday morning, is there anybody here? The Lord speaks to your heart. You say, Beth, I'm not where I need to be. I'm not where I need to be with the Lord. There was one man that came to this altar already this morning, and he said, he was asked, do you know Jesus? He said, well, I don't know. I I think I do. They solved that issue. He prayed right here and made sure things were right between him and the Lord. You have that opportunity today. Don't you go home. And I really believe this is the beginning of your ark. I believe this is the beginning of your ark building time. You have to start with the foundation of you knowing Jesus first. That's right. That's got to be your foundation. You have to start. Is anybody here? I'm going to just give another moment. If you're here, would you lift your hand and say, it's me. Pray for me. Thanks. I see your hand. Thank you. Thank you. I see your hand. You can put them right back down. Anybody else? Thank you for your honesty. Thank you. Thank you. I see your hand. Thank you. I see your hand. I know it sounds like I'm preaching to women. Thank you. I see your hand. But it's not just for women. This is for men. This is for for guys, young guys, older guys, young women, older women, whoever you are. You can start the process of the ark building. But you can't do it unless you have a relationship with the Father. Anybody else here right now? Anybody else? See, because I believe that Moses looked at his mother and looked at his father. And not only did their words ring in his ears and in his heart, but the actions, what they saw what he saw them do, the way he saw them respond, the way he saw them treat each other. I believe all of that made a difference in his life. 
if you don't have the fruit of the Spirit in your life, in your homes, I believe it's time to get back to Jesus. Anybody here? Anybody else? There's been a number of hands lifted. The Lord's speaking to your heart. If you say, Beth, I'm not where I need to be with the Lord. That's you. Would you slip your hand up? Anybody else? And you can put it right back down. I don't see any more. I see you. Thank you. Anybody else right now that you would say, it's me. Amen. Thank you. Anybody else? He's speaking to your heart today on a Sunday morning. Thank you. Anybody else today? Thank you, Lord, for what he's doing in this place today. And I'm going to ask you from the front to the back to stand upon our feet. Would you, every one of us? And I want you to begin to pray, gospel, temple. I want you to begin to pray in this place right now. Come on. Of all the times in this service, this is the most important time in this service is right now. So I'm going to ask you, church, will you pray? Just bow your heads. Let's begin to pray. The enemy's going to do everything he can to have these people remain in their seats. And you may say, Beth, can't I make this commitment to the Lord right where I'm at in my pew, in my seat? I just believe today that it's okay, it's hard to raise our hands, but that's not so difficult. But if you will take a step out into your aisle and say, I'm serious, I mean it. See, if you just lift your hand up, it's easy to go back out these doors. And the devil says, well, you know. But when you make a step in these aisles and you walk to this altar, you are making a decision. And you are saying, devil, I don't care who looks at me, who talks about me, what they think about me. I'm ready to get serious with the things of the Lord. I want to build an ark for me, for my family, for my children. If you lift your hand or if you wish you had have lifted your hand. I'm going to ask you right now on the count of three to leave out of this your seat and come and kneel in this altar. And the altar workers are going to be ready to come with you. You're not going to have to come alone. Woo! I want to tell you, there's a Miriam on the bank and she's watching for you. I believe the Lord's watching for you today, whoever you are. Whoever you are, you take one step. He'll take two. He'll meet you right in this place. If you lifted your hand up on the count of three, one, two, three. Come on, right now. Come on, church, help me pray. If you raise your hand up, now's the time. That's right. If you raise your hand up, now's the time. That's right. Come on. If you raise your hands up, now's the time. Women, men, whoever you are, come on. I'm going to push for you. I'm going to beg you. I'm going to plead with you because this is life or death for you. This is heaven or hell for you. Won't you say yes? Come on. Won't you say yes today? You raise your hand. You said it's me. Won't you come home? Won't you come home today? Won't you say yes to him? Won't you make a decision? Is there anybody else? Come on. Gospel Temple, pray. Pray. Believe God. It might be your neighbor. It might be your son, your daughter, your husband, your wife. Let's believe God. Come on. Anybody else that you want to come? Anybody else? I'm not going to come get you. I'm not going to make you come. But I want to tell you the Lord's pulling at your heart. The Lord is pulling at your heart today. He said, this is the day. Now's the time. Now's the time. The rain has started. Come on, get in this ark. The rain has started. Come on, get in this ark. The rain is pouring. Come on and get in this ark. This ark of safety. This ark of protection. Come on today. Anybody else? Then I'm going to ask all of you, men and women of God, if you say, Beth, I want to pray for my family. I'm in that group. I want to pray for my family. Will you leave your seats on a Sunday morning? We've got a little bit of time. Would you come and let's get in this altar today? If you want to pray for your family, your loved ones, your children, your Moses, your husband, your wife, these altars are open for you this morning. Are you burdened in your heart for a brother or sister? These altars are open for you today. Jesus is calling. Jesus is calling. Anybody else that you want to come? If you believe in God for a son or a daughter, would you have the strength of Jacobed, the, the
the courageous spirit of Shachaban and say, I'm going to pray. I know what time it is, but I'm going to pray. I know it's about dinner time, but I'm going to pray. Lunch time, but I'm going to pray. I've got to see my daughter saved. I've got to see my son saved. I've got to have my home brought back to Jesus. If that's you today, won't you come to this altar? Won't you come to this altar? Lift your hands up all over this place today and let's believe God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Come on, that's right. Come home. Yes, I'm coming. Do you remember the day that you stepped into the arms of Jesus?